What's up, everybody? Welcome to this week's edition of Arkham Presents Aaron Reviews Comics. Today we're going to be looking at Imaginary Fiends number one and Doomsday Clock number one. Let's get to it. In Imaginary Fiends number one, our story begins with a pre high school Cameron, a young man trying to fit in with the cool kids and attempting to chase after the ladies. As he's out with the group, trying to be all nefarious, he hears his name cutting through the woods. He turns to find 12-year-old Brink stumbling toward him, and as he approaches her, he can see the multiple knife wounds, and she whispers one name, Polly Peach Pit. Six years later, we find Melba Lee being hazed in a juvenile detention facility, and returning to her room, she celebrates her birthday with her friend Alice, before being pulled away to meet with a mysterious man who wants her to watch a video and tell him what he sees in the background. This only reveals that she has the ability to see into another world where spectral aliens roam, leading to a job offer for her to help a special division of the FBI hunt these spectrals. Her team would consist of her, this agent, and Polly Peach Pit. We're shown a flashback then of two girls outside of a tent offering up their fears and love to Polly Peach Pit. It's Melba and Brink. This leads to a particularly disturbing encounter six years later as Polly Peachpit makes her return, this time threatened by Melba. A few weeks later, we see Melba working with the agent and Polly. This issue closes with the return of Cameron, who has a friend of his own. Anyone that knows me knows that I'm a massive Nightwing and Grayson fan, so when I saw, when I saw Tim Seeley's name on this title, I was pretty ecstatic. And I, it won't fail you either. The ideas behind this book seem to be a culmination of It and Stranger Things, with a much more adult undertone. If you're looking for something a bit darker and out of the norm, that's this week's must-buy. Let's look at Doomsday Clock number one. It's here. DC has been building up to this event since Rebirth began, and now it's finally here. And let me tell you something, it doesn't disappoint. 1992, that's when the political unrest took over to the boiling point, seemingly leading to a large massacre. We're treated to page after page of news spreads and stories of what has happened to the Watchmen, how the hunt for them has been largely unsuccessful. Russia has amassed an army and begins its move to take over Poland. Every news station has been shut down, save one channel, National News Network. Rorschach is breaking into a prison to help them to help the marionette escape, though he is speaking a bit of broken English as it seems. We have three and a half hours until the end of the world. Everyone is evacuating in a desperate attempt to save their own lives. And as we discover who Rorschach is and who he's working with, we discover a plan is in place to find Dr. Manhattan. At this point, we are thrown into a nightmare of Clark Kent as he awakens after seeing his loved ones die. Lois shakes him awake, saying that she didn't even know he could have nightmares. Well, guess what? Neither did Clark. Two hours left. This book is great. The underlying sense of urgency keeps you reading and it keeps you engaged. And you know everything is building to something and watching Rorschach struggle with his identity is enough to make you want to keep reading and pick up the next book. The art is fantastic and it really brings the writing and the desperation to life. You don't want to miss this book. Each of these books is available for purchase at Arkham Comics and Wilson and Rocky Mount. For all of your comic book needs and all of your toy needs, head to the number one comic shop in Wilson and Rocky Mount, Arkham Comics. Don't forget that this Friday, November 24th, is the first annual Turkey Lurgy, presented by Arkham Comics and the Wilson Library. Come dressed in your finest zombie attire, there will be a competition. I guess it's the most lifeless among you? Anyway, this event will be held at the Wilson store, and it begins at 3 p.m. Then this Saturday, also at the Wilson store, is Wells the Martian Indie Release Party. So come out and meet the artist and writer and get a signed copy of Wells the Martian Number 1. That will be this Saturday from 12 to 5. And lastly, if you like this content, please like and subscribe below. Heck, give it a share on Facebook. You know, friends don't let friends share alone. And from everyone at Arkham Comics, we want to wish you the happiest of Thanksgivings. That's it for this week's edition of Arkham Presents Aaron Reviews Comics. So until next time, let's get reading.
Oh, I love eggnog. It's good. Oh, it's real good. I need some more. Man, it's good. It's good. So freaking good!